Deck, Hercules is away. Copy. Off deck. Got you past the transom and wire cam. Uh, this wire cam is great. Yeah, yeah new one's a lot better. It's Huge wider. Fan. It's a good angle. Yeah. Kind of, I ordered a spare and another one for the uh, forward facing bow camera, too. Nice. You guys have your sonars on? You want me to start this up? Gonna hit run. Van deck umbilicals out. Hey Jake, Copy. can you turn on your starboard camera, please? Yep. Thank you. Beautiful, thanks. Port rail? You want port rail? Uh, no, I just wanted a uh, camera on. This is an audio slate for Dive Hotel 1987, UTC time is 040918. Mark. Atlanta unleashed. Atlanta off deck. Atalanta in water, gonna start pinging them. Look at that. Starting descent. And deck, uh, Atalanta is away. Copy. Hercules is on a route now. Lights coming on. Copy. Atalanta is on route now. And also in high pack. So we're going to come all stop at 75 meters and do a vertical transect. Yeah, descent. we'll set up the video. We can switch over to uh, can't dive set that salvo. Up now. Yep, dive salvo coming on. Can I have pilot cam? Yep, you can put pilot cam on. And whenever there's a good time, can we turn on the ONC CTD, please? You guys copy that? Uh, I did not hear ONC that. ONC CTD. Yes. Thank you. Did not hear that at all. Yeah, I'm going from 0 dB to 12. Power to DSC, too. Copy. I got, uh, I got to do a little push to get past the Fletcher on the porch. We're still streaming forward. I'll wait to stop that until 75. I'm going to zero tether wraps and six eight wraps. Roger. I'll put the targets on this one so we're all settled in. We're going to huh. eight five zero. Five two four. Five two four. Another depth. Sorry, depth. So yeah, eight fifty ish. We're landing on a cl on a slope. Roger so. that. I'm all worthed up. 
high value. Sounds yeah. original. Yeah. Full of worth. Those taste okay? They were found in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Scan speed on Atalanta, I think we can afford to crank a little bit. Mm, I don't know. Ready to bump Danny in five meters? Yep. Ready when you are. I'll try to haul out this time, not haul in. <laughs> Dealer's choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were coming off the bottom uh, last dive, and I'm, I'm coming up, and all of a sudden I see the delta just negative, negative, <laughs> negative, negative. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> Am I going the wrong direction? And I look down. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Paying out. Everybody gets one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hauling in, and then we stopped for a second, and then I just inadvertently started going back down. Like yeah, a brain inversion. Well, it's what yep. I was doing the entire dive, you know, was go up a little bit, go back down a little bit, go back up hilarious. a little bit. We're maybe, I don't know, 20 meters from running to the bottom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what are you? Are you a salp? Yep. Van deck, all stop at seven five meters. Control has been transferred. Yep, coming down. Copy that. Coming down, ten meters a minute. Van has control. Okay, dial in. So, what do we need to do for video? Are we set up? We're well set. Here? We're set. Okay, cool. Transect ready. Transect ready. So we don't want to white balance before we transect. No, we're in the photic zone right now. It's going to change as we descend. Gotcha. It's not even called the photo examiner. What I'm gonna do? Barely hear you, Ed. Uh, I got, I got, I got, him. I got him. I got Ed. Um, you want it on plus DB, right? So, I'm gonna bring you. I'm gonna yeah, bring Atalanta here. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Yeah. You got me there. Yeah, good enough. Okay, good. That way we'll be off the wall and we can kind of get set up. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Um, but that may mean you'll spin facing north. Which is good. I'll put you like 30 yards. Descending at 10 meters a minute. We want lasers on, correct? Yes. Okay. Looks like I'm locked in at 10 meters a minute. All right. Roger. Bridge now. Can we step nine five meters bearing one one zero? Uh, yes, sorry, hold position first and then we'll step nine five one one zero. Forgot to stop. Forgot to set the emergency brake. 
Okay, I got it right up here. <laughs> So, because we're on a slope, and once we get settled in, we'll just have to puck the Doppler and altitudes and make sure that keep an eye on everything. Go ahead, bridge. Uh, nine five meters, one one zero. Uh, nine five meters bearing one one zero. Thank you. Lynette puts a little text box up here and types in stuff. Maybe I should do that. All right. 50. I'm going to type some coordinates in for Ravnav because I have them in this form. So, you know, it'll be a few. A little over an hour to bottom. I'm jealous, Danny. This chair does not recline. That's good. <laughs> you know, if you come back for your next watch and that one doesn't, you'll know where it went. Compasses are off, right? You guys are actually facing tail to tail, but the GUI or something just isn't reflecting it. Um, I started a ship move, so actually that is correct right now. Huh. Um, it's just starting to drag Atalanta and not Hercules enough yet.
Sorry, I'll zoom in here while I'm doing this. The heading problem seemed worse. Hmm. Did you? Because it's. I yeah. drove ahead, pretty full stick, and it I looks mean, did, even sorry. on the aft cameras. They look they look like they're facing the the right way. Did you change anything in the any? No, I didn't change anything. Yeah, I mean that's well. We don't know what heading. No, yeah, no, that's fine. You're dragging it, so it doesn't look like it. I don't like that it's variable, it seems strange. Yeah. Have you tried a different, do you have a different compass on Atalanta? I don't think so, I think it's just the one. We should consider having another one. Yeah, because that one, So we can. I mean it was, it was showing really off on deck, and I know it's, most of the time it's bad on deck, but that, it was well, really yeah. bad, it was really bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that sure almost, would make some sense. Almost ninety degrees off. <laughs> it's like uh, seven, uh, seventy, de seventy degrees off. Sonardine, no. Yeah. sense. Yep. It's starting to become operationally inconvenient. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rennie. Yes. When uh, when do you think we'll be reaching bottom? About one an hour. hour. An hour from now? Yeah. Just because we're doing the 10 meter minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, Roach. Like an hour away. Hmm. Are you sturdy? Oh, that would be nice to have.
collision. Hey, Ed. What do you yep. think? How are my levels? Am I blasting your eardrums out? No, nope, you are okay. not. Uh, I uh, think I reset them in between the dives. Cool. All right, team, how we doing? Descending. We are good, descending on our video transect. Just typing in some last minute coordinates here. So this is our second to last dive of the entire expedition. Uh, approximately a 12 hour dive and we are not going very deep, only 850 feet? Meters. meters. Oh, 850 meters, yes. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I like have something like that on my boat. It's nice. But it's got the handle slot. Yeah. And it looks like we're going to be recovering a piece of sonar equipment, doing a survey and recovery of whalebone and some wood samples. Uh, Megan was just telling me these pieces of wood have been down here for a really long time. And then we'll do some coral cliff surveys and a survey of a future whale fall dropping site. What does that mean? Just a spot where they're going to intentionally drop a dead whale I'm gonna, uh, Yeah. Let ONC answer that. I guess some places are better than others for yeah. doing that. <laughs> All right. On Atalanta, is the compass in its own bottle, or is it in the, like the main bottle and just? I believe it's in the main bottle, because there, uh, we don't what even have a button to turn it on and off. So. What if like this screw fell out and it just sitting there like slowly migrating? <laughs> I mean, it would also make sense because the roll is off. There shouldn't be a minus ten degree roll. Oh. Oh, that's. So a we have to get in there at some point. Yeah, that's a that's a. It Has that been noted, the roll? The roll's been noted, yeah. Josh and Trevor have, have noted that in the Red Book several times, and it's been pretty pretty consistent, minus 10 degrees. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably something to do with the orientation in the bottle, maybe. Is yeah. it is the um, is it a micro strain? I think so, but yes. I don't I don't know. Is that what's it? Does that report pitch and roll? Yes. Okay. It, yes. It is a micro. Strain. Oh, it is. A, yeah, you're. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've so actually seen it in I mean that software. that kind of tracks yeah so it's screen. either failing or it's yeah. or it's not because i know it's, got, it's physically I think it's physically mounted with like two screws inside the bottle to yeah. and if it started you know yeah or the sensor is failing something yeah. something's not right some sort of drift or something but i'll look through all my pictures i might find a picture of the inside of Adelaide's bottle you have to calibrate those things so hmm. what uh See that? Yeah. I might pump back a little further off the wall and we'll just approach it. We'll go up slope. So I'll set you off another two, five meters off the wall, which puts you a total of 50, 60 meters off the target. So that's fine. We'll just acquire the bottom and go upslope, and then we'll start our horizontal transect. Okay. Two, five, one, six, five. Bridge, nav. 
Step two five meters, bearing one six five. Thank you. Look at this. Are we in focus? We have our focus set to near. Oh, okay. Look at that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Seems fuzzy. Yeah. Oh, look at Atalanta. There's a south that's like in oh, a spiral. That's so cool. Or a siphonophore or whatever. There's like south. colonies of them. Yeah. That's really cool. Open up the bottle and find out someone double sided taped the micro strain to, uh, inside there and it just fell off. It's just dangling. <laughs> <laughs> if it was like dangling like that, that we'd, we'd see it like. Moving. Yeah, that's what makes me think there's something like the sensor yeah. itself is kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of binary, right? It would be like uh, someone, it was secured or it wasn't, you know? Like, yeah. I, I don't, I can't imagine it's going to work itself out, but, you know, I've been proven wrong before, so. Yep, never know. Never yeah. know. Do we open up and look? That could be good because then we could at least solve our. Once we have that resolved, we could try to solve this offset. Yeah. Yeah, this still looks more offset than what that is. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so I can measure it. Uh, where is it? So this says it's about trying to parallel it. One one one, and you're at zero nine five. Yeah, zero nine five. So fifteen degrees off. It's kind of standard what we've been seeing, right? Yeah, something like that. Yep. You're, you're a, you got your a lot of forward on, which is, I mean, yeah. Oh, nice. You keep the, you keep the Z dial yeah, with bias, and then I you. Got, I got yeah. that from Trevor. Trevor yeah, was doing good. the. Um, then you don't have to set both. Yeah. Descent the other night, and that if at the ten meters a minute, it's easy to dial it in yeah, with the Z yeah. bias. Cool. Well, that's way easier then. I was worried I was gonna mess you up. Well, it did have messed me up a little bit before. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just give it the beans for a second. Yeah. Uh, also, the 850 is a bit of a guess because of the slope, so. Okay. And our contours are in some unit other than meters, so. Yeah. Bring those on down the line. What's the sub, uh, it's like Skittles, what's the sub flavor? Like tropical, space flavored, regular. I don't know. Oh, they're gray. Or is that just the lighting? No, they're gray. So Skittles lost the rainbow for the Pride Month because they couldn't do the rainbow because that's the normal thing. I see. So, so the slogan is taste the rainbow, not <laughs> see the rainbow. Oh, 
Are they still different flavors? Yeah. We call it the Skittles Pride Pack. Nice. Yeah, they're different. Up fish. Hard to tell. It's funny, on our other watch, um, Trevor keeps like divulging little bits of Herc tricks. <laughs> and one of them was, uh, you can just hit jaw lock on yep. Mango and it will close and lock. Is and every time he does that, Tenerenko's like, what, you tell me at the end of the leg? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. There's something else with the I think it was with the computer, like drive-by computer. You can see me reading the dive plan. Like heading or something. Yeah, train, he, he had the, he was grabbed onto something and he was dialing in heading changes here to like move around. Oh. Nifty. So when we when we get down, we'll acquire the cliff, but you'll have to back up still to allow our Atalanta to spin around. Yep. So you'll be down slope, and then we'll just go up and reacquire whatever target depth they want. Okay. There's another fish there. So we're coming in into too. a layer of them now. Yeah. You guys remember uh, Rainbow Road on Mario Kart? Yeah. The uh, <coughs> data we're getting from the blue sensor reminds me of that. <laughs> uh, <I'm at> <laughs> <laughs> I'd say DDR. Six flags. <laughs> yeah, that nineties commercial. Oh yeah, with the old guy. Do we have any biologists in here? Do we think those are uh, lantern fish? They don't seem thick enough, but maybe they are. We're biology free. Biology All right. free. Well, I'll just call it a sea pig, and somebody will chime in <laughs> and tell me what it we actually <laughs> is. Yeah, no, you give the wrong answer, and then you get the right answer. Were, Ed, were you the one that was talking? Lantern fish. Lantern yeah, fish. there we go. Yeah. Ding, ding. I was right. Talking about how if you po post a question on yeah. a web forum. <laughs> yeah. 
The and easiest way is to post something that's blatantly no, wrong. No, you, you post the question, then you use another account to reply with a completely incorrect answer. <laughs> yeah. And then 40 people will give you the right answer. No. Yeah. But if you just post the question, nobody's going to reply because it's so obvious. And then it's like, well, that's simple. You just go into the registry editor and you find every instance of zero and change it to A. People are like, what are you talking That's not what you do. You do this, 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 and this. And you're like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pro tip right there. Yeah. yeah. People are way more motivated to tell you, tell someone how they're wrong than to volunteer how to help. So my experience with these lantern fish is you start with a couple and then you end up going through a very dense layer of them. Um, and between like three to seven hundred meters. Sometimes so far that less tracks shallow. Three, yeah. seven, five, three, eighty meters. We're within the zone. And uh, we're right around the shelf, I'm guessing, right up on the shelf. <clears throat> Guess. No, we are in the upper slope. Upper slope. Of Barclay Canyon. Yeah, yeah. We're at the edge of the canyon. Of cool. The canyon. Thanks, Fabio. We are technically inside Barclay Canyon. Nice. So who is Barkley and why is this his canyon? He used to live here. I don't know. Barkley. You got a fighter mouse at Barkley Canyon? I do not. Do not? No, I don't. I was um, expecting a virtual, pre-virtual yeah. tour before the... No, I don't. All the high-res stuff, I only have static images from, from, or higher Oh, that's res. a cool uh, jelly. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, pirouetting. Sorry, all the high-res stuff is... It's usually when we make our own, I'll have it readily available because I would have just done oh. it. But with ONC, they kind of provide the readily, like the static ones just for um, the background. And I don't have like the uh, the, the full depth ones, just the, like the image ones. ONC doesn't have a virtual model of Barkley Canyon? What's that? ONC doesn't have a virtual model of Barkley Canyon? I'm sure Canyon. they do, but I am not provided that information. Uh, Bubbles is being awfully quiet over there. <laughs> hmm? She's not listening at all. Oh. Are Who's you talking to me? I can't Mumbly hear you that bubble. Well. Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 what would you say? I don't have a table button over here because I got too many other buttons. I got Dale yeah. Lab and Lounge and other things. Button button. I know, I need like wet lab I've and got a table, table. Button, but I can't turn them up. I never use blue, but... No, there's two tables, a one and a two. I've only got a table. One. Oh, it's probably a special list. That's why you can't turn it up or down. It's both tables combined on the one button. Ah. Ah. And special lists cannot be trimmed. A bunch of pretty pictures. How many lantern fish? Can't hear anything coming out of out of that table. You can't hear me. Barely. You're on one, Dan. Yeah. Oh, which is seven. Yeah, go ahead. Test one, two. Test oh, one, man. two. Oh man. All right. There you can go. Can you hear me now? Yep. I can. Uh -huh. Danny, you yeah. got him. Yep. All yep. right. Cool. Thanks. A little bit. Survey line one. Ooh. Yeah, we're starting on the cliff. Oh, well, we'll see. That's probably a steep slope. I don't know if it's a cliff. Yeah.
jam along the cliff for a while and then yeah then we'd go midwater bounce down to the base of two and then go vertical transect or yeah horizontal transect as we get shallower mm -hmm. and then some other things i didn't get that far i know that we'll be doing whale fall potential whale fall drop surveys for a future experiment we'll be picking up whale bones and uh, the bones and wood experiment, and eventually the chicken bucket. Groundfall went away. Hey, look at that. What did you turn off? Nothing. Yeah, it's been intermittent. Crap power. How steep is that? Uh, we don't even we don't have that either on the up right there. How right. steep? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This is in um, here. This is in not uh, not meters. I'm not sure the unit. Um, not even quite sure about the depth of this t first target until we get there. Just want to uh, <coughs> yeah. So there was some discussion on you know max speed of the boat. We were doing 0.3 the other night just uh, because of the situation we were in, but I know if we're doing 0.3 up a cliff, if the boat's doing 0.3, that's like... Yeah, we're, we're, we're flying up. Yeah, twice as fast, right? Or 45 degrees. I don't know the yeah. math there. Yeah, even, even the along contour ones, if you start to go fast with the ship, you don't have enough time always to stay at the same at the depth. You kind of have to. Atalanta will be going at a speed where you can't adjust necessarily on the fly. If 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 the speed of the ship is like if you're going 0.5 with the ship, yeah. you can't always follow the contours to a T. Um, but that's like I guess something that you that the scientists have to balance whether or not they prioritize the cliff, the depth, or the speed. Even this this uh, one, actually, I'll zoom out a bit. Uh, it kind of goes along contour and then kind of goes along slash up contour. And then I think we can follow around. So we'll see what Fabio... Hey, Ed, can, can, you, can we do an experiment with the video, with yeah. the lights? Uh, yeah, we're doing a transect, though, <laughs> but uh, we could do an experiment during the well, transect. Just with the lights, because I've seen some potential bioluminescence. Yeah, I'm seeing that as well. Can we turn the lights off for just for a sec? Yeah, I don't think I'm sensitive enough to pick it up, but let's <laughs> try it. Pilot, can we're, you hear Fabio? We try this at least once a year. I know. Yeah. Let's try it. Uh, do you copy that, pilots? Yeah, I'll turn the lights off. And then give me a second to mess with video. Mid coming off. Like shut the elbows off too. Uh, yeah. And then I'm just going to crank in some gain. Like a lot of, see those little dots? Oh, that one's too close. I think that's our, that one right there. I saw a streak. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's it. I saw some. Ooh. That's 30 decibels of gain put in there. <laughs> that looks Lasers like my OTV. On. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lasers are burning can, a hole in the camera. Yeah. You can see uh, occasional, there's one. Yeah, I saw, I mean, that's surprised. yeah. Oh. Those are like just specs in the yeah. laser. There's one. There's one? Yeah. I think bucket cam shows pretty good. <laughs> cool, maybe we can come back to the regular. Yeah, you betcha. Thanks, okay. pilots. Lights coming on. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Huh, where'd they go? Scared them off. That was more than I have normally seen in the past without the low light camera. Well, that's a lot of gain. A lot of gain in just a tiny streak, yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like in triclops. Oh, look at that, Joey. Yeah, they're, they were on uh, light. Well, I tilted your camera forward, but I twisted it, apparently, too. Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing over there. 
second to last dive, we're going to tilt the uh, tail cam down a little bit too. Quid? Or aft cam. That's a better name. Proper name. Yeah. Rear cam. I think if that pilot cam hangs around for, well, I don't know how the pilot cam's going to hang around if we're doing slurping. Well, we could maybe put it on with tail. We'll have a... Uh, well, now we don't have enough power. Cinema camera will oh. be up there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure you want to turn off your uh, tether cam. Yeah. Probably the, not. Um, Get the, in. The new Sexton camera should... Replace all the center cameras up top. And eventually, if we come up with a. Did you cut the zip tie on uh, pilot cam? Did you? What's that? Did you cut the zip tie off the pilot cam? No, no, I just tilted it forward a little. But it is shaking. Pilot cam is shivering. It's cold down there. Oh yeah, it's bouncing around. Well, if we're doing experiments, I might pull a frame sync off of the brow cam. Or whatever you guys call that bucket. Danny Cam. Danny Cam. Oh, why is Starboard plugged into that? Hmm. How does it look now with the. You got the down lights off, I guess. Yeah, the uh, down lights are off. Let me just pull this real quick and see if it survives. Nope. Let's pull both of them. There we go. Hey, what did you do? You still have it? Uh, it's shaking a little, but not as much as it was. I'm not putting it through a frame sink anymore. Oh, much better. Yeah. Oh, it's coming back. I'm going to break the connection to SAT 3 for a second. Can you patch me into London while you're over there? Yep. Thank you. One ringy dingy. <laughs> Two ringy dingy. Kind of interesting the uh, manual nope. switch you got there. Put back. You're frame syncing all the composite cameras? Uh, stand by. Um, that's a hardware frame sync. We have, I think, a software frame sync on the rest. Could tell you real quick. Maybe that's why they look like Actually, it's in my cold. system spreadsheet. I can just look at that. Half hour left. Is that what causes the latency on the brow camera? No. Uh, well, by uh, uh, half a line. I don't know if that's any better or worse. Let Pete play with it. Uh, what am I 
nice settings for that. Frame sync one. Actually, squid. Yeah. Mm. Well, we'll just have to see on that. That was cool. Yeah, it was in the washing Not machine for, for a bit. There you go. Did you isolate it and then? It I just yeah, yeah turned yeah. off. Stack. I guess that's not your lad, that's the aft, isn't it? In that yeah, camera. It's yeah, the yeah, it's hard to tell from the fish eye.
looks like our compass deviation is going away. Hmm. How about the roll? Still negative 10. Oh. Hundred meters. How deep is the uh, target? Uh, it'll be somewhere around 850. I'm not quite sure on the cliff. Just come down till you get sonar target. Yeah. Are you getting this, Dan, or is yours good? This probably just needs a refresh. What's that? The no data thing. Uh, hold on, let me look at it. Yeah, it's not gone anywhere. I think it might be because I have it set to the last hour. Hmm. Try and zoom that out. But I prefer no data to frozen data. Nice. So if I refresh the dashboard, it goes away. Yeah, it might be struggling while it's uh, backing up. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Seems like the... Yeah, it's been really slow. <laughs> The heading did get better. That's some empirical data over there.
China, they sometimes barf on the uh, SD card, right? Maybe. Hmm. I've got data coming in now. Everything no, seems to be I slow. Understand. Yeah, I just got the no data thing again. Sure, it'll probably heal itself after that process is done. data for a sense about, I don't know, 1800. Uh, let me do a dashboard, or refresh dashboard. That's definitely struggling, I can't even log into its terminal. Oops. If you guys are good, I might go finish up my camera project down there. You on radio? Seven hundred meters.
one ten on auto heading. Aft lights are off. Aft deck lights. No, the aft deck lights are off. Nobody's really working out there, but we do have the wire off the side. Oh, you can't see the wire in the wire cam, Manny? I can see it. <laughs> I'm gonna call them in anyway, it's just better. Bridge, now. Oh, yeah. Can we have the aft deck lights on? Thank you. Last. There we go. Much better. What's your delta aim? 20. 20. To start out below. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you can start coming 10 meters again on the winch. You still got probably about 100 meters to go or something. Yeah, yeah. No, no Doppler beams yet. <coughs> Weren't we doing 10 meters? We, uh, were, I, we yeah. were. I just, we came stopping the winch so we could get a bigger delta for Roger. just finding the bottom. Out of curiosity, what does it mean so that we get a better delta? It's the difference in depth between the two, uh, between the vehicle and the tow sled at Atlanta. Ah, thank you. It helps us manage our tether in between them avoid getting tangled and in a mess. That makes sense. Hey, Rennie. Yes. So, um, Paula gave me those waypoints along this uh, sort of a ridge. Mm -hmm. um, but if it was more or less to guide us, but see, there's a little bit of a feature there. If we could keep uh, yeah, when we start the transect going to, you see how that? This one here? Yeah. Yeah, how would you like to approach that? Would you want to keep at the same contour, or do you want to um, kind of go up a little bit? If we can keep as close to the ridge line as possible. So, yeah, going along the contour, but I, I, I was looking at the bachymetric map <laughs> downstairs. I, it looks like we're going to have to come up. We will, yeah. If, yeah. We, if we get to, to that mid-two point, yeah. it looks like that's kind of at the ridge crest. -ish. Yeah. Um, so maybe if we can continue, don't need to follow exactly the waypoints, but instead follow follow the, the ridge line. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean for this feature. Are you looking at high pack survey right now? Um, I'm you looking at your screen, yeah. Yeah, you see my cursor? Um, yes. Yeah, so if we go, so for this section going along the ridge here, um, but then this over here, it's kind of not really, I mean, this is just steeper until yeah, we, yeah, until yeah. we get to here. So whatever you prefer on our way up here is fine. Yeah. Um, if you want to start higher up slope, that way we go along contour, we can do that. Or we could stay at our current point and then eventually go up slope and then reach the ridge and go around. What's the, what's the, the you, do you know the depth of the midpoint, mid 
I don't Me know. Too. Yeah. I don't have those I'll, in there. Um, and these are so not we can we can meters. keep on this counter line at one the start at their starting point and okay. then we go up at mid two. Okay, so we'll kind of come along here like this and then go up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So somewhere in here we'll go up to mid two. Perfect. Okay. So I think I'll just do a kind of almost a straight shot. We'll do as best as we can to follow the contour. And so for speed, it says 0 0.5. That's a, it'll be definitely s a bit swift for a for a transect that we're lateraling and uh, along we the contour. We should we should try to do the same we did last day, last time. It was 0.3, right? Yeah, 0.3. I think is, a, yeah. is good. And I think we'll be able to just call in a steady move at point three until we get to here. So that's like 170 meters, and then we'll kind of go up the slope, try to reach the ridge and not overshoot it, and we'll we'll follow that along. Sound good. Makes sense to me. When we first get set up, I might have to bump Atalanta a bit closer just to. Do you have a do you have an ideal depth that you want to do this contour? Um, well, I'm kind of. We are in between a thousand meters of our axis site, mm -hmm. and uh, 870 from our mid east. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be somewhere in between. <laughs> okay. Between thousand and 850, something like that. Hey, front row. Uh -huh. I just got a. We just got a question from a viewer who's uh, looking at the control room uh, or control van view that's on channel three, and they're wondering where the pilots are sitting. Can y'all wave? <laughs> uh, here, I I can uh, <laughs> I can show them with the camera. I think. Hold on. Get uh, up close and personal <laughs> with the pilots. Which camera is it? There we go. The one in the back. Okay. So we've got navigator over here. Is there Renato? No, behind you. Behind her. There you go. That's Renato oh, sitting that there. Yeah, over there. One Doppler beam. Then the uh, one Doppler beam, Roger. Jake over here. We're gonna have to stop doing this in a second because we got beams. <laughs> and then Danny. Wave there Danny. You go. There he is. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Point. Ed. Yeah, you bet. Ops team. Assemble. <laughs> One beam. <laughs> One beam. One beam. One Waiting Doppler on beam. More beams. Yeah. So you'll get beams. I'll switch you to DVL, and then you'll, in order to get Atalanta, you might have to back up. Back up? Yeah. Yep. But yep. you might. As it, we'll, we'll be sure that you've got, like, a solid four solid before we four, do yeah. that. Because you'll have to go... Uh, it goes deeper. Beams. Nice Ooh. squid. That was a nice squid. Maybe that's what we were picking up in the beams. Singular squid. Uh -huh. right. I don't know, we're still getting beams. So maybe there's more squid. We should say beams more. <laughs> Not saying the word beams enough. Yeah. Um, hey, Dan. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Ed. Yeah. I'm trying to set up the digital steel here for uh, for Dirk's uh, yeah. monitor. There was some remote desktop connection issue here. Uh, yeah, let me uh, do a little routing over here real quick okay. so I can see what it is. Still nothing in the mesos and only tickling one beam. I've got a beam tickle. Yes. <laughs> oh, I. Not Sony. 
I don't know that. That would be in the documentation, which might be on the desktop. I can help you with it once we get sorted on the bottom. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Just going to keep going. Uh, you might try entering Andrew's last name and see if that's it. Come on, Beams. Andrew's what, Turber? Oh. <laughs> the Andrew's last it? name? Yes. Uh, Is that what you're trying to get? Uh, okay, Ed? Turber. It's admin admin. Admin admin? Yep, it's admin admin. Okay. Uh, Three beams. If you need a manual, there's one on the uh, table. Zero, one, two, zero, one, three. Seventy two meters. A lot more gelatinous organisms. Yeah, a bunch of Tina Four. Strong at three beams? Strong three beams. Where's that four? Where's oh. the four? Do we uh, have cool a four? Legs. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Three beams going once. Going twice. Come on. I got three beams going for four. Going for four, three beams. Bring <laughs> three beams again for four. Can I hear four? Uh, two. <laughs> so how about gone to two? Never seen a backwards auction. Yeah. <laughs> you can uh you can back out. I was always amazed by how auctioneers can talk so fast. I, I stumble on my words. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty remarkable. He's going manual, everybody. Going into manual. Full manual. He's in full manual. Driving down. Starting to pick up some terrain. That's like in Atalanto, kind of pseudo terrain. It's just like wraps, bounces. There was a lot of stuff in the water column, hey? This yeah. is trying to say. Yeah, it was a good clean Especially, set. yeah. Down 300 yeah. meters was a lot of fun. I got you. Still three beams, but 60 meters off the deck. It could be that it's a slope, you know? Yeah. Are you backing up a bit? Yep. Roger. You want to set up and descend, or what do you want to do? Yeah, you want to bring Adelaide's heading around? Yeah, I can bring Adelaide's heading around. Zoom in, get you some some meaningful squares. Yeah. Where do you want my heading? Uh, facing Herc. So, same heading as. So, 45 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> How about I point it north? See if I can see you. Together. Looks so like uh, that looks pretty close. All right, continue, on continue down. Descend. Coming on down. Okay. Got four beams. Four beams. Sold. So we're here five. <laughs> <laughs> if only. If only you could add another beam. Um, more beams. How are we solid on four? Looks pretty solid. Been pretty solid. All right, yeah. I'll give you a. I'll give. I'll switch you up. Let's see. This. Uh, this, and one of these. Okay, you're on DVL driving. Right here. Uh, your delta has 
spun around Atlantis heading. Yep. He can come down a little bit faster, didn't he? You have some terrain in Atalanta sonar. Copy. We got a really nice thank you comment from the viewer who asked where the pilots are. They said, many thanks. Uh, for the wave from the front row, all of you do an awesome job. Thank, Thank you, you viewer. Watching. Thirty meters off bottom. Thirty meters off bottom. I. Terrain in Herkimazo. Uh, bottom? Bottom. Roger. Like logging on bottom. It looks like the bottom. Where's my pen? Depth nine three nine four five. So we, we come up. Okay, I've got that. I'll stop on the winch. Got this. I'll stop on the winch. winch so I'll stop. Forty one meters. When you're all set, we can do white balance stuff. Yeah. And then after that, we will ready for white balance. Bring on down we'll light. Yeah. Take out the lasers. Make it. Looks like some current. We clear for craft? Clear for craft. Craft coming out. I mean, get full wide so you can line up. There you go. Craft is stopped. Coming in. I think I just need to bump up. I think you're fine where you are. I think that sticker is ready to be replaced. All right, I'm going to go ahead and black balance the camera. This is going to make it dark. All it's right. going to take about nine seconds. This is intentional. Uh, didn't it used to take like three seconds? Well, it all depends on the depth. Oh, okay. And going to go ahead and white balance. No. <laughs> Good white balance coming out. Uh. It's funny how everyone in the room just looked at Ed when he said that. Yep. <laughs> all so done. All Thank good. You. Okay. Yeah. All done. Still that arm.
Um, yeah, after you stall, have you come out of auto XY for a second? Yes. Just let me know when you're out. out. Okay. And uh, reset. So okay. push past the housing We're here. We're good there. Um, Brighten you up a bit. And then we saw that down light on. You want to maybe yeah, turn that, that one off and see if it's any better? Yeah, yeah much that's better. way better. Much better. Yeah. Okay, maybe light. we'll get a little bit of horizontal distance, so you're out a bit in front. Still keep, obviously, a good vertical delta, and then we'll be moving up slope. Atalanta behind, Hercules in front, up to this, up, oh, whatever up depth rudder. Fabio wants you to stop at. And what's our protocol here? Are we doing opportunistic zooms or just staying locked? No, we're going to do like a, maybe at the second transect we'll do zoom ins. Okay. So this first one will be a so long contour, but right now we have to get to the start uh, first. Aye. Ahead. Okay, I'm going to move Atalanta slightly up slope, 30 meters. Roger. And we'll see what that gets us depth-wise for Hercules. Bridge nav. Well, let's try and Can set we step up the three zero meters, bearing three, four, five? Thank you. Uh, look who rock stars in when they see bottom. Yeah. There he is. Just here for the digital stills. Fabio will be running the first part of this. It's a lot of stuff in the water column, huh? Yeah. Flop. I've seen, seen a lot of Tina Fours. Yeah, that's where the canyon makes a bend. It's a lot yeah. of current. What's your, uh, what, you might be tugging? What's going on here? Oh, you yeah. might be coming too far out in front. Yeah, you're pretty far ahead of uh, this is 87. Atlanta. Atlanta has not moved yet. Stretched so out hold, a little yeah. too much. It's all right, just hold there. It'll catch up and I'll come with you. Yep. I mean, I'd come down, but your delta is low. No, no, stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, we still, oh, I see it. I lost, I lost it in uh, mm -hmm. Atlanta, but okay. I see it now. The fog. Let me see if I turn some Let's see you. Might help. So we'll be a little less than that. I just moved you 30, and your current depth is 926. Is that any better? I can see it. There's a lot of stuff in it's the water. Yeah. Sorry, Fabio, what was that depth goal again for this? Um, it's between an entire, yeah between a thousand and 870 so I, I think we are a good start okay I'll just get up to that um, target which will be another a few meters um, and then I'll start our once Atalanta has completed that move I'll start along our contour line and uh, once it starts moving we'll get our lateral transect going so I'm gonna come up a little bit because our Delta is dipping Am I dragging you? Nope. Let me know if I pull. Yeah, so at this point we'll just be watching Atalanta sonar as long as we're as long as we're at within one ring or outside of one ring. That's just twenty meters, we're okay. Okay. Um so that yeah, you don't have to have like a crazy vertical delta in that case. Anyone knows what's the scale of this high pack? <laughs> high pack scale what of uh, the, the contour lines. They're not no. meters. They're not feet. They're I, <laughs> I do not know. They're it, not fathoms. This is an ONC map. Ooh. I could see if it's written in the corner somewhere. No, I don't see. Oh, there we go. Ten centimeters. <laughs> Uh, Falker doesn't say Which anything. Main ocean. It has meters written up there, but it doesn't say anything. Oh, it's bubble. Meaningful. Did Irish just go crazy? Oh, or they see a coral. That's good. Good sign. Yeah, it looks like Irish went wonky. That's an industry term. Wonky. Atlanta. It should be on the move a little bit. Just honing in that depth contour. 
don't have all the lights on except for down. Bubble looks darker than normal. We wonder if Dan messed with Bubble too. We have a quick question about if we're going to be taking any samples with the bio box on this dive, and we are taking samples. I assume we'll use the bio box. Is that whale bones? I think is the plan. It's a yeah. not experiments that were left here nine years ago. We're going to recover a humpback uh, rib section and a Douglas fir block of wood. Yeah. Did we put those down, Fabio? Is that those whale bones? Yeah. Wow. 2014. Yeah, it's yeah. a long time. I remember that. That was cool. Ship move is complete. Atalanta's got a little more sway. We'll establish what depth Hercules is at. Confirm that Fabio is happy with it. And then we will start a long contour as best we can. Do we want lasers on for this? Can just adjust. I think that's right. Fabio, you want lasers on? Lasers on. And the altitude, I mean, you're st you still adjusting, right? Yeah, it'll be because it's a slope yeah, yeah. and it's on the aft. It'll be. Yeah, we'll try to keep it. It looks like we have a pretty steady scope, though. The slope doesn't seem to be varying. Mm. So we can find a good value and stick there as long as that remains the case. Yep. Another, still seeing corals. So the idea is the crab along the slope? Yeah, yeah. So we'll just be watching, obviously, the distance between you and Atalanta, but just in context of Atalanta's sonar, if for some reason we encounter something and you have to be a little bit downslope or a little bit upslope, yeah. just uh, we'll, we'll adjust. But for the most part, it looks like the contour is going to be pretty. For this transect, do you want Herc looking directly at the slope or like forward? I think, yeah, looking the direction of the isobat that we're looking. Okay. Going along. So more this way. Yeah. Roger. All right. How's our? So I wouldn't go upslope anymore. Yep. Just uh, we'll see if Atalanta creeps. I think it's actually Atalanta's move is done. So are, are you guys happy with that gap, or you want to be a little further downslope for um. the um, tether? I can come up a little bit back further okay. down slope. And then I'm going to move uh, the bearing that I'm going to bring Atalanta to will be yeah uh, zero six. All right, Danny, you can come down a couple meters. Twenty-five or something. It'll be zero six zero. Okay, twenty-five. Okay. Um, do we need to set anything up video-wise? Um, Stop going that way. Maybe a tap in the zoom. Zoom. <laughs> Ed, Say again. A tap in the zoom, please. Tap on the zoom, I. Tap on the zoom. Like that. One more. 
There. Sounds good. How are we uh, as far as altitude and everything? Let's see. That's a good field of view right there. Okay. That's what, five meters? It says, yeah, so five off the back. Is out about. the back, so it's probably... I'm going to like F4.3 with an average luminance of 40%. Okay, I'm going to start moving out Atlanta, and then once uh, we get some movement there, we'll start to track along. So I'm going to move right 100 meters at 060. 060. Bridge nav. Step 100 meters, bearing 060, speed 0 0.3. Roger that, 100 meters, 060. Thank you. I think your camera's held right away on you. Yeah, it ran away on me. <clears throat> like, I'll so just tap it, give it one little, a couple degrees, and it's. That will put Atalanta. Takes off. Yeah, that's a, that's a software bug. Here. How, how high software? is the front of Herc off the, off the bottom right now? The front, uh, it's just a visual, so we can't really tell. Okay. The, the altitude close. is off the aft, and it's. Yeah, six okay. meters right now. Gotcha. It looks about a meter, so a meter and a half, two meters maybe. Something, yeah. No it's way to tell. Alright. As soon as Atlanta starts moving out. Yeah, it can go a little bit further ahead too, you know? Not too much, but. Yeah, this is a good orientation. We're roughly north south and we're moving at 60 together. Yeah, okay. So it'll be like slightly looking at you up ahead. Tether looks good, it's all good. Fabio, and your one meter off bottom requirement is that um, just, is that, is that just your creep, processing requires that or is that something that it still allows you to huh? DC detail? No, fine. Yeah, backwards? you can see more no. detail for sure. Okay. So, okay. And then the see. illumination, you're okay. essentially okay. illuminating the entire field of view. If you're starting to yeah. go up higher 1.6 to higher. So it'll be a slow ramp up to 0.3-ish. Okay. Um, Try to keep it so you're roughly north south. I'll just like watch that. Okay. Um, can you step off uh, XY for one sec? Okay, you're good. Ship's gonna be backing down on this transect. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to watch the wire. I'll keep you at a twenty five meter uh, around twenty five meter uh doctor. Yep, got a little bit of movement on Atlanta there. Yeah, so try to watch that you're not going too far up sloping yeah, away from yeah. Atlanta, but you're okay. Okay, we're starting back row. Okay. Hurry. Okay. On it. We're trying to keep the altitude up between five and six meters off the back of the vehicle. Your 
torch is alright, we could be a little lower. Yeah. We're not dragging anything. Yeah, I think we're alright there. Alright. Four and five meters. Maybe yeah, yeah. before point four point five and five or something like that. Yeah. Four point five and five point five. Fabio, would you like to log biology or shall Shaw help you? Um, I'm, well, I'm logging uh, if they want to help because it's, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, they don't need to worry about duplication because we're going to go over those again. <laughs> okay. How long is this transect? Uh, the distance wise? Yeah. Probably 600 meters or something. Let's see. Ooh. 250, 250, yep. Just about six. Let's see if I can get one more auto function in. What's that? Oh, you want <laughs> a little less work? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you try that. We'll just watch the top wire if you. It, it, the slope isn't too. It's not cliffy, and we've had beams the whole time, so it should be okay for that. But. I don't think the stills camera is going to get enough light for you on this one. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit far. Okay. Blow it out the next transit we set up to do some zooms. We can get, well, maybe the position of the ROV will be better. Yep. Coming up. Yeah. You mean the next line, right? Yeah, the next line. Yeah. It looks like a pretty steep cliff, a canyon or whatever. Yeah, it's not quite a cliff. I mean, it, yeah, it is the slope of the... It's like canyon walls, right? Yeah, yeah. the slope. Yeah, it's steep. Just a big down current. Yeah. So are you expecting to see a lot of, uh, a lot of coral? Well, we're comparing this different, if you see the 
the dive plan that we had, the, the survey lines from the previous yeah. dive, we, co we we served a much steeper, uh, those yeah. hard substrate walls. Here it we it's more like a gentle, still very steep, but it's comparatively more gentle. More, more similar to those first ones we've surveyed last year, eh? Uh -huh. This is more similar to what we surveyed last year. Um, yeah, we did a few just below hydrates, right? Yep. That was sim that's similar to that. In a sense, there was not a lot of exposed substrate. But that had a significant amount of coral, more so than the steep cliffs. The ones we surveyed last year. More so than when? The steep cliffs we did this year. I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. No, I think that the end of our survey, th our survey this year was the, the highest density oh, I ever, okay. ever saw here. Oh, well. Yeah, that one. So, oops. Here is quite dense. Yeah. That's the original coral cliffs. So actually, we need to give names to this place. Here. For this so gate. We might have to lat a little more just because we were uh, like so here and now we're here. Yep. Which is fine. It's still well within the box. We just have to make sure it doesn't fall out. Fall I ooh to the pivot. Definitely books. go faster. Yeah. Are so like flounder where their eyes migrate as they get older? I think so. I think we talked about that earlier. Except uh, the difference, the difference between sole and flounder really is one is rounder. Was the answer bridge uh, nav? That was the Google answer. Yeah. Contents. Add one more step. Five zero meters bearing zero six zero. Oh, fancy squid. Oh, is that a squid? Cuttlefish or is that a squid? I don't know, it looks a very distinct white red stripe. I don't think I've seen one of those before. Yeah, definitely try to get on the on the ahead side. So this next move we're kinda continuing along contour ish. Um, and then the move after that we'll be going slightly up slope. Right here. Jake, you want me to ping your sonar a little bit closer? Uh, that's you. fine. Okay. I can also slow or speed it up. Gages. Seems like four and a half is a good one. Seems pretty good. Perfect lighting for sure. Yeah, it's good.
want to steal your gauge cam for a second? Roger. Oh, wait. I don't know why I said a timer. I can do another one of those. I'll be out of here. Is the next transect also crabbing, or is it straight up the slope? After this 600 meter one, um, which we've already done 100 or so meters of, uh, it'll be off the cliff at the bottom and then go back up uh, straight up against the cliff, so yeah. like perpendicular to the bathies, the, nice. the contours. There's a nice squid in Atalanta view. Yeah, a little one. It's a super steady line you're holding, Jake. This is great. <laughs> I'm doing yep. a lot of work up here. He's, yeah. he's got his hands <laughs> off the control. Actually, my hands yeah. are in he's my pockets. <laughs> he's got it well, dialed in. Yeah, you've got it dialed. Whatever yeah. you're doing, keep he's, doing it. He's tick locked in the perfect setting. Took oh. me a bit to get it dialed in. Yeah. And oh, now well, I can just watch and enjoy the show. Yeah, we'll yeah, wait till I change the vector. In <laughs> five meters. Yeah, this is great. I was going to say, this is perfect. Yeah. They're not moving at all. All right, I'm gonna, the next move will be zero four zero, um, just for 50 meters to get, so you might come a little bit up, up slope, but so we st stay on this right here, like okay. that. Um, otherwise we'll be kind of too deep and we want to be on like the steep part here. Roger. Bridge nav. Five zero meters, bearing zero four zero. Thank you. Then I'll do that, which is zero four eight. Yeah, alternatively if we if we're still in like kind of what seems to be the steepest bit, 
rather than go up, we'll just have Danny come up a little bit, and it'll be because uh, it's pretty flat up there. I'm not okay. really. Um, here, I'll show you the context. Here is like. This is slightly steeper than here or here, so kind of like staying in this. It's not right. much of a ridge, but. Nambalula.